On this episode, we head into the mountains with the 2020 Toyota RAV4 TRD Off-Road Edition. Does it have what it takes to conquer the Cascades? Or will Ryan and Carlina be forced to turn back? Find out right now, only on Driving Sports TV. Thanks for watching today. We're going to get on with the episode in just a moment here, but I first want to take a moment to thank everybody for hitting 100,000 subscribers. We got the plaque mounted right up here in the studio, and I just, I just love looking at that. So thank you, everybody that has subscribed. If you haven't yet subscribed, take this moment. We got a lot of great videos coming up that I think you'll really enjoy. Now, let's dig into this RAV4 TRD Off-Road. In 2019, Toyota introduced an all-new RAV4, and with it, a nice selection of trims. Everything from an all-wheel drive hybrid, which we reviewed last year, to the trail-ready adventure. For 2020, Toyota is taking the RAV4 deeper into forerunner territory with the new TRD Off-Road Edition. And at first glance, it certainly looks the part. The TRD Off-Road adds specially tuned dampers, Falcon all-terrain tires, special TRD 18-inch wheels, and some really nice TRD touches to the interior. The RAV4 we're testing today was provided by Toyota for review, and it came loaded with the weather package, premium audio upgrade, a tech package, blacked out emblems, and a roof rack. The base TRD model starts at $35,180. With all the options we have here, you're looking at $42,507 US dollars, including destination. Like the Adventure model, the TRD Off-Road comes standard with LED headlights and fog lights, as well as a more aggressive front fascia. Unfortunately, for this model, Toyota hasn't added skid plates. There are simply plastic bits under there. Power is courtesy of a 2.5-liter inline-four that puts down 203 peak horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. The only transmission option is an 8-speed automatic, which is connected to Toyota's new dynamic torque factoring all-wheel drive. If you want to learn more about this all-wheel drive setup, you can watch our Toyota All-Wheel Drive Explain video after you're done with this one. EPA rates this setup at 32 miles to the gallon on the highway and 25 in the city. Maximum towing capacity, 3,500 pounds. The back is completely lined with TRD rubber mats, which look great and are more durable than standard carpets. Under the false floor is a spare tire and a jack kit. With the second row in place, you're looking at 37.6 cubic feet of storage. With the second row folded, it expands to 69.8 cubic feet, just a little less than the Subaru Forester, but right in there. In the back, you also get AC and 12 volt power for a cooler or, you know, whatever. At six foot one inch, I fit just fine in the second row. Amenities are sparse, but passengers do get an armrest with cup holders as well as USB charging sockets. Up front, there are several nice TRD-specific touches. Seats are Softex fabric with TRD embroidery and power adjustments. Hitting start brings up both the digital gauge cluster as well as the large 8-inch infotainment display. Aircon is dual zone, and thanks to the weather package, the seats have both heat and ventilation. Like all modern Toyotas, this RAV4 is loaded with the latest SafetySense P system. That gives you pre-collision with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitors, automatic high beams, plus dynamic cruise control with auto steering and lane tracing capability. Toyota's built-in navigation has come a long way in the last few years. Find the nearest Starbucks. Showing results for Star. To navigate to this point of starting guidance for a new route. Using freeform voice commands, you can perform a point of interest search. It also supports XM satellite radio and wireless charging for mobile devices, as well as support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. To access mobile features on the display, you will need to plug into USB. Once launched, you can use voice commands or the touchscreen to navigate features. Find the nearest Starbucks. The nearest one I found is Starbucks on 120th Avenue Northeast in Kirkland. The main display also provides a standard backup camera. However, because our test RAV4 is upgraded with the tech package, it also has a surround view camera system as well as front views. We'll use this system more when we hit the mountains later in this video. 
With all the key features covered, let's now take a quick look at how the all-wheel drive system responds to the various drive modes. In normal mode, you can see that the RAV4 tries to keep most of the power up front. Switching to rock and dirt sends more power to the back, but it keeps traction control engaged to reduce spin. More power is going to the back, even though it's not really visible here. Mud and sand allows for slip to give you momentum in tricky situations. Finally, snow mode retards the throttle to avoid fast launching. It also optimizes traction control for slippery conditions. As you can see, visually, there is very little difference between all these different drive modes. So to really test them out, we're gonna have to use some real world examples. Naturally, that means we're gonna head to the mountains to answer the question, is this RAV4 TRD Off-Road Edition a reasonable alternative to the 4Runner when the going gets tough? Let's find out. So the main difference between this vehicle and of course all the other RAV4s in the family are the fact that uh, this one is a little bit more rugged. But is it rugged enough to take on, you know, the mountains of the Great Cascades of the Pacific Northwest? That is what we're going to find out today. In the family of RAV4s, the TRD Off-Road is the tippity top. Uh, it is slated just above the Adventure, which is of course their rugged off-road version. So what makes this one more special than the Adventure? Well, they've done a couple things. Nothing terribly significant, but they've done a few things. Uh, it's the same ride height. You're still looking at 8.6 inches, which is 0.2 inches higher than a standard RAV4. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have some, you know, front fascia things going on there uh, that are unique to this vehicle. I got some like seats that are these fake leather, but they seem pretty nice. Um, but more importantly, this has rally bred shocks. They actually run a RAV4 in the US Rally Series and they've taken what they've learned from that to build the shocks for this car. Now that doesn't mean that we're gonna go take it off jumps today. No, uh, we're gonna do something a little bit more pedestrian, but still I think kind of exciting. In my last big snow review with the Chevy Bison, a lot of people were a little concerned that I was heading into the mountains all by myself. So today I have with me Carlina Gore, who will be joining me in the co-driver's seat to make yeah. sure that I don't do anything too stupid. Yep, how's it going? And uh, definitely I can get him unstuck, you know, <laughs> out of a hey, Nana, hairy, you're, you're a assuming... hairy situation if we get into one. But I have the utmost faith and confidence in your abilities. I, I'm assuming she doesn't based on the way she's saying that. <clears throat> um, clearly she know. has watched some other videos and she has come prepared for the very worst because yes. usually I end up in the very worst situation. Yeah. So here in the Pacific Northwest, weather can be tricky. Two weeks ago, pouring snow in the Cascades. Mm -hmm. Lately, last few days, it's been nothing but rain. Pouring rain. In fact, when I called Carlina up to see if she wanted to come out on this, I was like, hey, let's go do a snow adventure. But now we're kind of here at the foothills and... It's more of a rain adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're hoping that we actually run into some snow. At the very least, we will run into some uh, situations. You know, at the very least, we are going to be able to test the all-wheel drive system in this vehicle. And of course, this has the more advanced all-wheel drive system uh, from Toyota. This is the torque vectoring system, the one that has two clutches in the back on either side of the differential. Uh, so it'll push power to one wheel or the other based on computer inputs. And of course, it also has individual brake vectoring around all four corners, which should be able to help move power from wheels that have slip to wheels that have grip. Whether or not we're gonna be challenging that in snow, gravel, or if we're gonna find ourselves hip deep in a, in a waterfall, river, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> it has been raining so hard, even my house has a swimming pool in the basement right now. And I didn't have a, I did not put a swimming pool in the basement on purpose. It just <laughs> moved in overnight. So, uh, already I'm seeing there's a little snow on the side of the roads. This is good. Hopefully this works out. Okay, let's do a quick zero to 60 here. Uh, there are, of course, drive modes. We're not gonna bother with that. Well, we'll put it in sport. Why not? Let's see what happens. Now, this is kind of a funny thing. You may not know this, that it doesn't matter what mode you put a car into. 
uh, if you go wide open throttle, it's automatically the equivalent of sport mode. Oh. Even if you're in eco mode and you go wide open throttle, it automatically goes to the maximum hmm. mode. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the transmission over into sport, which should get, hold the revs higher. And I'm just gonna go, can you give me a countdown to three, two, one, go? This is my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, this car only has 203 horsepower. Well, so. it's still gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Countdown. Three, two, one, go. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. 60. I mean, uh, it, it's got a little bit of get up and go. I mean, well, maybe more than a little bit. No, it's a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 220's not that much. 203 horsepower? Two, two, uh, yeah, well, 203. Yeah, 220 is not a much, and this at 203, <laughs> it's still not very much. Uh, but it is better than the Subaru Forester, which competes in this class. That one only has like 189. So, yeah. It, 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 it'll still get the job done. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Heading into the woods, we have snow here. Uh, we got some gravel. Now, they say that this these shocks are designed from the TRD rally program here in the States. They run a RAV4, which is funny because everybody else runs cars and they run SUVs, which is hilarious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into, let's put it into mud and sand because that should give us maximum oh. slippage with the <laughs> wheels so that we can actually like go a little bit more sideways. Okay, this is my favorite part. <laughs> we do have to watch for the, there's a little bit of a tree down there. Yeah. Just kind of go around here. You know, the shocks are actually doing a remarkably good job. They, they're soaking up those really harsh edges of the, the little puddles uh, and the more, you know, awkward edges of rocks and stuff in the road, but it's actually, I mean, this is pretty smooth. I came up here last week, you'll watch the video later, but I did take a blazer up here and it was much worse than this. Not like you would ever compare this to a blazer, of course, but you know, if you wanted, there you go. Now I do have a nice all wheel drive gauge um, display here and it is showing me the power distribution front to back and it's looking like it's mostly even. This can put up to 50% of power to the back and then it can use those clutches to use that power left and right as much as it wants. Uh, which, you know, helps keep things on the straight and narrow. We are starting to get some uh, snow here, so let's see how this feels under throttle in the snow. Yeah, the AT tires have a little bit of bite, but nothing terribly exciting. There we go. Just power through. I feel like I can have a little more fun this time because if we get stuck in a ditch, I have Carlina to help pull me out. <laughs> I got your back. Yeah, thanks. Okay, <laughs> yeah, whoop, side is there. This thing handles okay. really well though. It actually handles, yeah. it's very predictable. That's, that's the key thing yeah. here. So many of these vehicles are a little sloshier in the yeah. way to deal with it. A lot of that comes from, uh, first off, the suspension, but also these uh, all-terrain tires are really helpful in getting that grip, yeah. especially in these mixed conditions. So this is really slushy with some gravel beneath mm -hmm. it, which makes kind of for a compact ice, but then all of a sudden you have grip in the gravel. So far, this has been pretty easy, um, but we are gonna be able to make it to the hill climb, so we should see some interesting things there. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, how well this all-wheel drive system works, but also the all-wheel drive system when coupled with proper all-terrain tires. Yeah. Um, we do have some little issues of this, this tree, though. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of that, I'll be right back. It's like a gate, nature's <laughs> gate. I'm gonna go exactly. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> as far as hazards go, this little tree was actually pretty easy. It reminds me that when coming out here, I should really bring a saw or an axe with me. With that taken care of, we continued on our journey. Crisis <laughs> averted. <laughs> I think we're just going to go around it. <laughs> That'll work. I, if you don't mind, the, the cliff is on your side, so I think you'll be fine. Let me know if uh, Thanks. if you slip. <laughs> so nice of you, well, such you a know. gentleman. You know, I try. <laughs> so even though we do take these off-roading, we try to be nice to them. Toyota yeah. does not like to get scratches. 
There we go. Okay, we're good. Onward we and upward. Did it. So have you ever seen um, me drive and cross over up this particular course? No, I haven't. Okay, so the, the idea here, not just for Carlina, but also for the audience is not to see if the vehicle can get up it. I know it can get up it, especially if you take easy lines. The idea here is to actually make it challenging for the vehicle so that we can actually see how the wheels mm -hmm. are distributing power from the outside cameras. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and set the car. I think we're gonna do rock and dirt because that is going to mm -hmm. be the most aggressive in redistributing power because it's going to expect slip but unlike mud and sand it's not going to minimize traction control so it's going to maintain traction control so it can clamp that power down and redistribute it through the system whereas if you do mud and sand it tries to put as much power to all the wheels as it can mm. to give you momentum this is not really a momentum situation and it like like sand would be yeah. so um just going to keep it in drive rock and dirt and away we go here we go <laughs> what happened since we have taken the um, hybrid rav4 up this course i mean obviously this is more capable than the hybrid rav4 mm -hmm. um, spe specifically because it has all-terrain tires in addition to having a physically linked all-wheel drive system uh, so far on the gauge i'm seeing that it's giving me even power front to back it automatically does that in rock and dirt it's going to assume that you're going to have slip so it puts power to the corners as necessary uh, right up front does it concern you that there's a 100-foot drop right next to you at all? It, no. Be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I trust you and your ability. You shouldn't trust me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's a, there's a biggish rock on the right here. I'm going to, on purpose, put my right wheel on it. And I'm going to actually use the exterior cameras, which are pretty cool, uh, so that I can see, change my view, so I can see what the wheels are doing. I think that's the best oh. one. Yeah, that's the front camera up there. So that I can actually awesome. see that's the rock and that's my wheel line right there. That is really handy. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna purposefully put my wheel right on top of that big one. Right there, see, feel it. Yeah. It's all go yep. there and yep. then. Nice. It's doing a really good job of pushing that power where it needs yeah. to be. We're gonna start slipping on that. Power is 50, oh, okay. We used the brakes to grab that front wheel because it started to spin. Huh. So it grabbed it and then that power went back through the system. Now, if I was honestly just trying to make it up this, I would definitely be keeping a more constant, faster speed. But again, mm -hmm. we're showing what the system does. So far, we've been pretty good. But the most challenging stuff is up ahead. As you can see, mm -hmm. half of the road has turned into a riverbed, which has moved some rocks around. Yeah. Oh. Good, good, good. Oh. Front inside wheel is spinning. I'm just gonna keep the pedal down. No, it's not gonna work. Let's get no. some momentum. Reverse and... There we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, the downside of sometimes taking the harder line is that you gotta force your way through. Yeah. Especially because like this this road changes all the time. So any like a line I would have taken mm -hmm. last, you know, three months ago is totally different than yep. the one right now. So now we have a back rear wheel completely up. It's interesting though, it's actually braking this wheel more so though. It's not doing any wheel braking on the back. That wheel is completely in the air. There we go. <laughs> so instead of using braking, it was using uh, the torque distribution mechanism in the back to push power to that wheel, which is interesting. There we go. Well, that was pretty easy. Yeah. Didn't have to, uh, I mean, we only had to sacrifice one line. Uh, but you know the best news? The gate is open. So that means we yes. gotta go further into the Woo. forest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it only gets harder from here. I know. So this isn't really that complicated. The first time I came out here, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna make this over. Okay. But I've been over it a few times and now I kind of have an idea. You know. Yeah, this RAV4 should have no issues here. Just take it easy. No problem. Now, I should probably also note this car does not have any underbody protection. It doesn't have any oh, okay. steel plates or anything. Okay. Um, I, I'm kind of a little surprised, actually, at this price point, I think that it should, because mm -hmm. you're looking at more than 42000 Oh. <laughs> That's a waterfall up there. Huh. And a river right there. Yeah. Let's drive through well, a river. All right. This is 
really an off-road adventure today. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it, uh, it's a bit wetter than I was expecting. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm dousing water onto I-90 down there. I know. <laughs> I've never been up here when it's been this wet. This is just an incredible amount of water. Yeah. And we don't have much snow, so I feel pretty confident with the tracking. I am noticing that the uh, tires here have, you know, I would say not fantastic grip in the snow, but, you know, reasonable. <laughs> but now we're getting into snow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go what we wanted. Although it's icy and slippery and that is quite a drop yep, on our outside. <laughs> we did come out prepared. I did pack uh, tow rope, uh, air compressor. Um, what else do I have? Uh, of course, I'm not sure where we would attach a tow rope since I couldn't find any attachment points on yeah. this. Eh, uh, we'll just put it around the waist of the, <laughs> the, of the rig. And then um, what else do we have? Attraction boards, which, eh, and uh, of course, snacks. Snacks are the most important part. Definitely. I just feel like we're driving up a river here. We are. <laughs> oh. Now that's a proper rig. Ooh. <laughs> you got stuck in that. Is it okay? Can I, can I just show what you got stuck in? Yeah, I was hoping to get to the river crossing. Is that not Mine Creek? It's not really that unusual to cross paths with other rigs out here. Okay. However, this one was kind of surprising. This was a fully kitted out FJ Cruiser, and the driver said that she had actually gotten stuck just about a quarter mile up the trail. The snow was going to get deeper, and uh, she actually needed a shovel to get her rig out of the snow. So would we be able to get even further with the RAV4 TRD off-road? Things were not looking good. Yeah. Have fun, have fun. Thanks, Thanks, you too. Thanks, good luck. <laughs> well, well, she would have been a good rescue person had we actually gotten I stuck. I know. Although, boy, she was in a, that was a Toyota FJ and she, with mud grapplers. And she, she said she got, got stuck. stuck. Mm -hmm. huh. So we'll see how this nice. bad boy will do. <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You got it, come on, you can do it. Whoa. Okay, now we have a snowbank on the left uh, and a river on the right. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Love it. Of course, you know, she says that she had trouble, but you never know somebody's experience. Yeah. I mean, she might have a fully rigged. I've seen guys out here with fully rigged forerunners have issues. And I've seen guys in Honda Civics do stuff that you cannot believe. <laughs> so, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. Yes. But we don't have underbody protection, so if you had some big ice cubes, it might be a little, a little problematic. about that. I know, it's, it's definitely right. rubbing. We're yeah. rubbing a lot. Turning around might be an issue at this point. We might be backing down this entire mountain. Uh, we probably will be at this rate. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. <laughs> so we'll see how well these uh, all terrains do as the snow gets deeper and thicker. Oh, now, no. <laughs> this isn't normal snow. This is this is muck. This is yeah. snow and ice. It's like a big slushy cone that we're trying to drive through. Oh, ice on top of snow. Back out. I think we can make this. I think we can get this. No, we got we got this, we got this. I mean, it only gets deeper after right here, so I'm yeah. sure we'll be fine. <laughs> totally fine. Floor it. <laughs> We're spraying snow everywhere. Okay, let's change it to uh, mud and, uh, actually, go. let's go to the snow setting, even mm. though that's not what I want. The reason I don't want snow is that that gets really aggressive with the redistribution of power, but it won't keep the wheel spinning, which sometimes is actually what you want. Yeah. So snow, floor it. Oh. Ah. Oh, no. I'm not giving up. <laughs> we can't give up now. We're almost there. There being. Oh. 
Oh, because it has um, no traction and it's in snow mode and it's most aggressive, uh -huh. if you completely have no traction on any wheels, you put the throttle down, nothing happens. Oh. It slowly, it slowly tries to get something going, but it doesn't okay. give you that power immediately. I was like, what is happening there? <laughs> yeah, it's, I can see it. It's doing... Yeah. Here, hand me the GoPro. Let's see. You can see that it's... My foot is just down. It's moving the power around, trying to find a place to get us unstuck, and it's not working. We're basically just glossing under the tires, creating uh, ice. Yeah. So... <laughs> I see you brought a raincoat. Yep. Ready to get dirty? Yes. Okay, because I brought chains. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, we definitely got some snow here. <sighs> oh man, ah! you got hit with a snowball with this? It would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was an adventure. We now have chains on. How long did that take us? That was probably 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. It's been a long time though. Okay, <laughs> and we are now going to try to get through this mush to see if we can make it to Mine Creek. Okay. Right. I'm going to go ahead and put it into snow mode and we'll see if we high center. Well, we made it a foot. <laughs> After all that. Oh, here we go. Doing good, doing good. Oh, man. You know, I hate to throw in the towel, but we are definitely getting high centered. I think this might be a sign. There's so much moisture in this snow. The moment we hit it, we're like, whoop. So I think we're going to have to call it a day. We got this. <laughs> 20 point turn around. We got it. And away we go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> kind of. Ah, yes. Yeah. Well, for Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthit, and this has been Carlina Gore. And uh, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, <laughs> tell us what you think. Uh, honestly, I think that this RAV4 TRD off road did a very good job, all things considered. This has been weather that even a fully built rig has trouble with. So, uh, I, I think A for effort. Thanks to Carlina Whoa. for helping out today. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. It's I'm very been a wet. fun ride. <laughs> I need a shower. A really, really long, warm Hot shower. shower. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs>